Cattle producers face all kinds of challenges when it comes to managing natural resources, but they all have a common goal, to protect the environment and leave the land better than they found it. We're joined now by someone who knows this firsthand. Matt Pierce, thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about your Florida cattle ranch, please. Yes, ma'am, good morning. Um, uh, we, we ranch on uh, several ranches north of Lake Okeechobee and then uh, down in the Everglades and in, in and on south uh, south of Lake Okeechobee. Uh, we run a cow-calf operation of around 2,400 head of cows. And um, we develop our own heifers and, uh, and, and market our calves out west like normal uh, cow-calf operators. Uh, we just love the land and, and um, you know, it's, we try to leave it better than we found it. That's kind of our motto. Yeah, uh, it's certainly a different landscape than some other places that we've been on. Maybe what are some of the unique challenges that you face here raising cattle in Florida in this environment? Yeah, so uh, some of the unique challenges that we face uh, in Florida are uh, weather, humidity, um, disease. Uh, our, our property on the south side of Lake Okeechobee in the Everglades, it's a WRE easement, a wetland reserve easement, and uh, we keep all the water on the property. Uh, so there'll be times that we have six inches of sheet flow across the property and the cows have to adapt to it and we keep them rotated and moved, you know, out of the wetland uh, part of it. But um, uh, that and uh, you know, development encroachment is, is a problem uh, in Florida with the 1,100 or so people moving here a day. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, let's go back and talk a little bit about water. Um, you're surrounded by water, but how critical is water management on the, on the property here on the ranch? Uh, so water management is, is very critical on, on the property. Uh, we try to hold water on, on the landscape because when it gets dry like it is now, you're gonna need it. So we use riser culverts um, to keep water on you know, in these ponds and sloughs, uh, which helps the wildlife, it benefits the cattle. Um, it's a symbiotic relationship that we have. So water is important. We, we end up having excess water, so we manage it, we hold it. Um, that helps recharge the aquifer. Um, it helps uh, with, uh, with, with water recharge for the coastal areas that, that need drinking water. Yeah, that's really important to think about where it goes from here. You know, you have a lot of water here, but you've also invested um, a lot in, in some water development in terms of water troughs for the cattle here. Why, why are you doing that when you have so much natural resources water around? Um, so what, what we try to do is like the water trough behind you is we, we have uh, the, the use of electricity here. At some places we don't, so we use solar. Um, but, but we're using these water troughs and fresh water for animal health purposes. Um, and we also uh, feel like it benefits the wildlife because wildlife are drinking from that, either birds or, uh, or your deer or um, you know, your other wildlife species that can get to it. Um, so that's important to us to, to keep cattle in, in a freshwater environment um, and, you know, and maybe not have to drink uh, water from you know, natural areas. Uh, because of disease and, and uh, issues that we face for that. Yeah, sure. Um, speaking of wildlife, you manage the land for both cattle and wildlife here. Talk about some of the other things that you do uh, to make this a really a great environment for wildlife to thrive as well. Yeah, we sure do. So not only uh, do we manage the, the, the cattle uh, for, uh, for the landscape and the environment, we also have a commercial duck operation. Um, we, we try to get folks out on the landscape and show them the ranching. So the typical duck uh, scene would be, you know, you come in early in the morning, you get in your blind, and, you know, we tell our folks, you know, that are hunting with us, you know, here's what you're going to experience. These cattle on the landscape are going to see wildlife, and, we're, you know, we're doing this um, for the wildlife and for cattle. And, uh, and then when the sun comes up and everyone has a good hunt and then they ride out, they're like, wow, you know, the light switch comes on. They're like, you're, you're doing this for cattle and wildlife, not just to make, you know, revenue uh, for, from the cattle. So um, we, we, we do, um, you know, plant a lot of food plots, a lot of rice and millet for the, for the ducks. Um, we use uh, cattle as a tool in, in the hunting. We found out uh, through our experience is that where you have cattle, you have a lot of ducks. Um, and you kind of have to see that, but, but um, we were hunting an area that we took the cattle out of and we thought, well, we'll just let the ducks come here because there's water and uh, the ducks were actually where the cattle were. So, um, you know, we're working with uh, wildlife biologists to find out why that is and, and enhance that and, uh, and use the cattle as a tool. Yeah, uh, so you've learned a lot uh, just watching cattle and wildlife together. I bet it's fun too then to see people make that connection. How critical is it here in Florida with all those people that you mentioned moving in every single day and urban areas kind of growing out to keep open landscapes like this uh, in Florida? 
So I think it's very critical to keep those open landscapes. So my family uh, moved into this Kissimmee River Valley uh, 100 years or 150 years ago. And, um, and so you'd imagine that uh, way different than what it is now. And then you get all these folks coming in and, and they're coming from you know a, a, an urban setting and, and they don't realize what this place used to look like. Um, so, so we're fighting to keep the green spaces and, and to keep um, you know, development pressure down and, and fight to, to ranch every day. I mean, I, I'm eighth generation Florida rancher. I tell my kids who are the ninth generation, you know, we were born with a sword in our hand and that sword is to defend what we're standing on today to, to provide a fresh a wholesome protein source um, for the American public to provide uh, clean water for drinking for the coastal areas, to provide habitat and green space for wildlife. Um, and, and we have to defend that every day because there is a lot of pressure uh, on development and, and regulations. Um, so it, it, it's a tough deal to ranch down here. Yeah, um, you gotta keep it open and to do all that, you can't cover it up with houses to manage yep. to do the same thing. So. With your family having a long history here, what does sustainability mean to you and your family as you've managed this ranch over the 100 years, 100 plus years? Uh, sustainability would be um, to pass it along to the next generation and then to keep passing along. Um, this is kind of what my family's known. I mean, they came down here 150 years ago. Uh, they settled on the western shore of the Kissimmee River and, uh, and, and they ranched before there was fences, you know, before there was the canals and, and, uh, and the 1,100, 1,200 people a day moving. Uh, to Florida, so so it, it's very important um, to to be able to pass this down to the next generation and, and to instill that value that I have that was instilled into me, you know, that you don't take it for granted, that, that you know, you're, you're caring for this land and, uh, and you gotta leave it better than you found it. So um, what I equate to is like, um, most of the folks that live in town don't understand what we go through and that, you know, our forefathers developed this land and, you know, we're putting new boards in the cow pens, we're, we're planting new grasses, we're, we're doing things to better uh, the wildlife habitat on this place. They don't understand. And, and I equate it to um, like, like if you were to have six generations ago, uh, your forefathers built a house and, and you were expected to live in that house, you know, somebody's gonna have to keep up the plumbing, somebody's gonna have to keep up the electrical, somebody's gonna have to keep up the foundation, and, and that's what we're doing with, with the ranch land. Um, one other thing is that, you know, it, it's so tough uh, to ranch in Florida or, or around the country, because if, if uh, my kids wanted to get into ranching, um, you're looking at seven to $8,000 an acre investment with three acres, four, four acres to the cow, um, you, you can't physically pay that back in, in cash flow. So you either have to be married into it or inherit it. And, uh, and the inheritance um, comes to be a struggle because you, you have to keep it for you know, the next generation. Yeah, it's uh, important work, but comes at a, at a, at a, at a, with a price and, uh, and a lot of blood, sweat and tears. We thank you for all you're doing to protect the natural resources here in Florida and, and keep raising beef here. Thanks, yeah. Matt, for joining us. Thank you.